Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4BMG. We all use gadgets and gear that require 5 volt, 3 amp power bricks that we plug into our wall outlets and then run some type of USB cable with a fragile connector on the end of it. Plug it into a receptacle in our gear with another fragile connector on it, hoping that we never damage them. For me, it is my SkyBridge hotspot there that's Velcroed to the wall. I'm in a very confined space in my shack, so I have items Velcroed to the wall, Velcroed to the underside of my cabinet, to the back of my cabinet. I make the most of the space that's available to me. There's no room here in between these monitors for me to be reaching behind there and constantly plugging in that hotspot. So I've found a very specific cord on Amazon that allows me to plug it in once. It has a little push button on off switch that's just hidden behind the top of the monitor here. I can push it quickly on off and I can power my hotspot at will. I'm going to share that with you today because I think some of you will find this useful. Here in front of us we have our Bridgecom SkyBridge, I'm a fan, and we have our power cord with an on off switch. I do have some gear coming that's going to give this some serious competition, can't wait to show that to you. And this extension cord will represent our wall outlet. This power cord will work with any type of gear that requires a USB connector, so just keep that in mind. It's not just a hotspot, but that's what I use it for. And let me show you how simple this is. Obviously, I have a spare. This is not the one that is on the wall. Uh, let's go ahead and plug that into the wall outlet. Take the wire tie off of the cord that has the on-off switch. Plug it into our power brick plug it into the end of our sky bridge, being very careful not to damage these uh, fragile connectors. Done. What do you think is going to happen now? How about we just turn it on? How about that? Is that simple or what? Let me go ahead and bring up my digital PyStar dashboard. I'm going to show you the correct way to turn off your hotspot. Some of you may not be aware of this. Give me a sec. A common cause of a hotspot beginning to work incorrectly is that our micro SD cards become corrupted. One of the main ways that a micro SD card becomes corrupted is that we didn't power down correctly. Probably only a very small percentage of the people do it correctly, and you might choose not to do it correctly after this. That's completely up to you. I just wanted to make you aware it was an option. If you come into your dashboard and you come over to power, click on power and just click on the little red button, it's going to ask you if you want to shut down. Now let me state, this does not turn off the power to the hotspot, it creates a disconnect. And then you can power down the hotspot, either by pulling the plug out like we've been doing forever, or by using this little cord with the on off switch that I'm showing you today. And we're back to the camera showing our digital hotspot. On my second screen, I'm gonna hit that red power off button, tell it okay, and now you're going to see that my MMDVM hotspot has stopped and it's now safe to power down just by pressing that little button and we are done and powered down. I've been using this brick and this power cord for well over a year. I found it incredibly helpful. This may be useless to you, or you might find it helpful as well. The link will be in the description below for where you can find this. I hope you enjoyed this short little helpful tip and trick, how to get a cord that has an on-off switch to make life easier when you don't want to constantly be plugging and unplugging your gear, as well as how to correctly power down your hotspot. Talk to you soon, friend, 73.